Hey guys, it's Miss Reed. This is lesson number 11, determining the theme in fictional text. Um, you've definitely done a theme before. Um, it's kind of an interchangeable word with moral and lesson learned in fictional text. So it's very important in a fictional text, so let's review what it is. So a theme, like I said, is an important message, lesson, or moral about people or life that an author wants you to learn from their story. So an example, let's say we're reading a book and the character's careless behavior causes him or her problems. So they're not thinking or they're not paying attention to what they're doing and then they end themselves up in a like really bad situation. The theme in that story, the lesson they might learn, the lesson we can learn from the story is to think before you act or to show self-control um, and to not be so careless in your actions. So. This is how we identify the theme of a text, is what we think about. Um, if you're in 4B, I often tell you the lesson learned lies between the problem and the solution in the story, which is true. But you can always ask yourself these questions. What did the characters learn? How did, this, how did the characters grow or change throughout the story? So think about how they were at the beginning, how they are at the end, and why are they that way? And how did the characters solve their problem? Again, what led to them solving their problem? What did they do? So these are the three important questions to ask ourselves as we read a fictional text um, to figure out the theme. Um, I provided some examples of theme. You can look through these um, on your own, but these are all different topics um, and themes, things that we see that are common. Right now, though, I want us to look at our materials. This is what it should look like. This is determining the theme of the story. We're going to look at the cartoon. So it says, I've never done this before. He looks pretty, pretty scared. Um, I'm sliding down and he looks like he's actually like happy right there, like he's excited maybe. And at the end, he's not scared anymore. He's chilling. It says, wow, that was fun. I can't wait to go again. So I kind of made a makeshift one of these. We're going to practice how we figure out the theme. Like this is obviously very easy. Um, this is a cartoon. It's not like a straight up story. So it's going to be a lot easier to think about. So we have who's the character? What's the character's problem? What does the character learn? And then what is the theme of this cartoon? So luckily for you, I filled this out. So the character in the cartoon, if you look back at it, obviously... He's a, he looks like a little boy. Um, he's a scared young boy. He's standing at the top of a water slide with a terrified look on his face. Yeah, he looks pretty scared if you can see him at the top. Like his knees are like facing each other, holding his face. Um, pretty scared. What's the character's problem? The boy's scared because he's never gone down a water slide before. You can obviously see that. He even says that I've never done this before. So that's his problem. He's scared. He's never gone down one before. What does the character learn by the end of the story? The character learns that going down the slide is fun, not scary. You can see he's having fun as he's sliding down. And at the end, he realizes, oh, like, I want to go again. Like, that was really cool. So that's a lesson that he, that's what he learns, not his lesson. But he learns that going down the slide is fun, not scary. So theme, possible themes of this cartoon based off of what we've asked ourselves, what we've proven. It takes courage to try new things. Facing your fears can be rewarding. Um, that's probably even the best one because you can see he was really scared, but he loved it and he wanted to even go again. So, we are going to read now The Two Travelers by Aesop. Um, it's an old, old, old um, folk tale. So, to figure out the um, theme, the lesson learned slash moral after we look at it together. So, follow along in your materials The Two Travelers. Two men planned a trip that would take them through wild, lonely country. They promised that if they met with danger, they would stand by each other. To the end, said the first man. To the end, said the second man. They traveled only a short distance when a bear rushed out of the woods at them. The first man, as soon as he saw the bear, rushed to a tree and climbed it as quickly as he could. The other man, who was slower to see the bear, realized he had no time to escape. He fell to the ground pretending to be dead. So already I'm noticing something about the first traveler and the second traveler. The bear came over to the man on the ground. The animal sniffed and smelled the traveler. The bear put his face right up to the man's ear. 
but the man held his breath and soon losing interest the bear walked away when the bear was safely out of sight the first traveler slid down the tree and walked over to his companion who was now sitting by the side of the road well that was a close one wasn't it the first man said what did that bear say when he had his mouth to your ear it's no secret growled the second man he said i should never <laughs> again believe anything said by a coward like you you know i'm in silence but true okay so <laughs> let's work through these questions a little bit together so what are the two characters promise each other as the story begins um they say that they're each going to stand by each trouble by each other if any trouble comes their way that they'll have each other's backs what happens that creates a problem for the characters a bear just rushes onto the scene he comes up out of nowhere how does each character attempt to solve the problem so to escape from the bear the first man runs up a tree um and he like runs away from the second man who he says he's going to help the second man basically plays dead on the ground um, and hopes that, and like just hopes for the best, prays that the bears are not going to mess with him. At the end of the story, what has the second man learned about the first man's promises? Um, the second man is very clear at the end of the story. He learns like he can't trust the first man and that the first man is kind of like all talk and he's not really going to have his back at the end of the story. So the lesson that we can learn from this story is probably that we can only really depend on ourselves or we can't always depend on everything others say um, sometimes people will say one thing and they really need another so that would be the theme of this story so what you are going to do is you are going to read on um, this text called based off of what we did too so we just did that together you're gonna read the text Claudine's tack attack so mouthful and you are going to complete the independent work the same type of thing we just did about re after you read this story who's the character what's the character's problem what's the character learn what's the theme of this story um and then you are going to write a race response about what the theme of the story is so if you complete this chart it should be pretty easy to write the race response after you finish um your work with claudia's hack attack so mouthful you are going to read um sir ivan ivan i want to say ivan it's a weird, it's a weird name um you're going to read sir ivan while we're down here sir ivan and you are going to answer the questions in the google doc so let me know if you have any questions um i'm looking forward to seeing you soon